um, uh, anniversary of my 21st. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, it's been an incredible uh, year so far uh, since we announced in March that I'm running for the Monterey County Board of Supervisors. I just want to thank each and every one of you for the incredible support. I find support everywhere I go. We started knocking on doors uh, after the kickoff event last weekend. I've spent probably uh, 10 hours total. I find support when I knock on doors. I find people who recognize my name when I knock on their doors. I find people who've been reading about the work that we've been doing in the newspaper when I knock on their doors. Um, it's, uh, it, it's so rewarding to have that kind of feedback. And it tells me that, that I'm the right person and that we can do this thing. Yeah. So a few pitches for you. You're all here because you support me because so many, I think everyone in this room has already donated. Yes. Um, so many of you have already endorsed. You've offered to put up yard signs. You've already reached out to your friends and your community yes. to ask them to do the same. That's how we're going to win. Yeah. Um, so I'm here again tonight to ask you for more. <laughs> we got it for you. Uh, a few quick thank yous. I do want to thank uh, the wonderful Jenny McAdams. <laughs> among the many is to ask five more friends to donate. Yeah. Okay. Ask five more friends to put a yard sign up in their yard. Mm -hmm. Ask five. Can we have them? We, we'll have them in okay. January. Right. Yeah, in January when no we problem. can legally put them up. But ask them to tell them we're ready. We, we want to know okay. if we can. Um, and uh, keep sharing our posts on social media. We have a selfie uh, table at the back. Um, if you take a photo, post it on social media, put our hashtag on there. Um, keep spreading that positive energy out in the community. It really does make a difference. Um, right. And this is the one and only Supervisor Yay. Jan Parker. Thank you, Wendy. And I am just so happy to see everybody here tonight. And I'm really happy, and I think all of you are too, we are so fortunate that Wendy is willing to run. Yeah. kind of leader that we need. She has a great mind for policy. She has deeply held values. She loves to listen to people and hear different perspectives. Um, she knows the ins and outs of the county. She's been working for me for 10 years, well, 11 years now, and um, so she has worked with just about every department. Um, and she's worked with a lot of you. She's worked with people in every single one of our communities to help you address the issues that affect your life. So she knows what's going on and she loves to find solutions to the issues that confront us. So thank you so much for your support. I will say that this afternoon I was over at my sister's house and um, I told her I was coming here tonight and I said um, I could take a check from you and deliver it. And uh, she said, oh, oh, is that tonight? I saved the invitation. She got out the envelope, she got out her checkbook, she wrote a check. I think it has 42 in it somewhere. Um, and I imagine it has at least a, a zero in there. So, uh, and my niece, same thing. I said, I'm going to Wendy's party. We need to contribute. That's the way that we're gonna get the word out to the voters, one of the ways. And she said, oh, I can't give this month because I, I made an extravagant purchase. And I said, well, I'll be asking you next month then. And, uh, and she said, yes, I can give more next month. And I said, more? So she wrote a check. <laughs> 
but she'll be giving more next month because I'm going to win But it is, um, I really want to encourage you. I won despite the fact that I was running against the political establishment. Uh, and I won because people like you were willing to walk door to door, um, call voters, talk to your neighbors, and let them know how fabulous well, I was, but in this case. <laughs> um, and, and people like you contributed money. We can't reach every voter by phone and by knocking on the door, even though we try. Um, so we, we need money to be able to send mail and get the message out. So um, your help in asking your friends and neighbors to vote for Wendy if they live in the yes. district, we want it to be legal. Um, and asking your friends and family and your neighbors to contribute to Wendy's campaign. That's how we win. It's a grassroots effort, um, and I know that Wendy will stay in touch with the grassroots because that's how we've done the work all the way along, is we stay in touch with the community. We welcome the community's participation because you know what works for your lives and we're here to serve you. So thank you and thank you, Wendy, for being willing to run. of my life who are here tonight so if you see someone and they're not like just introduce yourself you guys can all talk to each other you're all here I know you're all good people so um, make some new friends while you're here okay. uh, I like the strategy of asking for $42 and say if you can't do it in the next time this is her birthday next month she's 92 <laughs> Um, and I, I, just a few other things. We've had some incredible endorsements come into the campaign. Um, since we announced we've been endorsed by the Monterey County Democrats. Yeah. We've been endorsed uh, just recently by the Central Labor Council, which is a big um, We have endorsements from every single one of our city councils and district. Um, and here tonight, we've got Monterey County Office of Education, Trustee Harvey Kuffner. Thank yeah. you for your support and endorsement, Harvey. Yeah. Jason Chico in the city of Seaside jumped in with me right away. He's been a tremendous um, pleasure to work with. Together, we're getting a new a homeless shelter in Seaside. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Jenny McAdams is newly elected uh, one year now, right? To the Pacific Grove City Council. All right. Running, she was like jumping up and down. What can I do? Let's get this done. Um, and then Yuri Anderson, um, we're here. Our mother is calling trustee, and we got. She's also one year in, and she is just making waves over at NBC, and we're thrilled. Um, and then I think I saw Tom Moore is here as well. Marina Coast Water District fighting the good fight. I could go through and talk about every single person here. Jean, thank you for your comments. Please, um, every mail piece we send, bulk mail, that's 25 cents. So your $5 donation gets mailed to 20 voters. Um, those yard signs that I talked about, they don't come cheap. About $5 per yard sign. So help me buy yard signs, help yes. me send mail. Every we'll single it. dollar matters. We'll do it. So I'm Kate Daniels, and I, Wendy, I just want to correct you. You got those endorsements. I mean, this is a woman who is hands-on running her campaign, doing what it takes, walking door to door. I had the privilege of walking with Wendy just last Saturday, it was, and the, the the appetite is throughout the district to support Wendy, and we just need to go door to door to make it happen. So, um, I was getting ready, and I put this this necklace on, and it reminded me I, I've given a lot of pitches for Wendy, but I haven't made this one, which was I was putting this on, and I was thinking about a girlfriend of mine who passed away a year ago, November, and um, as a result, I became the guardian of her child. And I share that guardianship with the child's father. But I do everything education-wise and um, school-wise and anything that requires doing something other than raising the child, that's me. And so we had a lot of uh, issues right when, when my girlfriend passed away, um, including the father's name wasn't on the birth certificate. And um, he's in the district that Wendy will be serving and that Jane serves. And I was able to pick up the phone 
and call Wendy. And Wendy just took over in terms of the coordination with the, the different elected officials that were in Santa Cruz, with Jimmy Panetta's office, with Assemblymember Mark Stone's office. We were able to, to fix this problem. And as I was driving over here, I was thinking, I can't imagine having picked up the phone and called Steve McShane <laughs> to get this kind of help. And who would have answered the phone? Like the thought really was a panic. It was like, who would have answered the phone? Because 90% of what a supervisor does is these sorts of constituent issues. And I know that Wendy has the heart and the commitment to answer the call when constituents call with those types of requests. And she will fill an office with staff that will be there to help us when we need that kind of help. So um, where that leads me is to the, to the recognition that Wendy is here stepping up to lead the 4th District, not because there's some ego behind this quest, or some desire other than to do what's right, right for the district, other than to do what's right for Monterey County. And I can't say that about certain supervisors that are sitting on the dais today, and I certainly can't say that about all the supervisors that are in the race for that seat. Right. So it is really important. In, in other pitches that I gave for Wendy, I talk about the budget and the county budget and how important it is that we have someone making those decisions that shares our values. That is the most important thing that a supervisor does is that county budget every year. And again, I'm terrified of the prospect if we don't have Wendy in the 4th District seat. Exactly, yeah. So um, my pitch is a financial one. I am giving myself more to this campaign than I've ever given to any candidate ever. Um, it seems exorbitant to me, and I am an advocate for campaign finance reform, but we're not there yet. And so it's really quick critical that Wendy is able to match the fundraising that her opponents are going to be um, raising, match the dollars that they're going to be raising. It shows that she's got the support she needs to win and lead. And that's unfortunate that money talks like that, but it really, really does. So if you're like me and you're a $500 donate, don donor, which I'm going to hope, to hope to become a $1,000 donor by the end of this campaign, right. which is far more than I've ever given to any person ever, <laughs> um, you know, other than paying my bills, um, I'm doing that in $250 increments, and what I promised Wendy is that I'm going to go out and find other $250 donors so that I can match my level of commitment with others and bring others into the campaign. So if your level of commitment is $25, all I'm asking is that you go find 10 other $25 uh, donors that you can bring into this campaign because <laughs> diversity is also very important. The more people that give right, right. to the campaign becomes a wonderful talking point. Wendy's got 800 donors and her competitor has 10. And they raise the same amount of money. What does that say? So, um, so I'm really, I'm, I'm that I made up those numbers. That is We're at over 600 donors compared to half that. So, so that's incredible. That is incredible. If you, if you know, if you've already given to, to not only dig deep and see if you can do it again, how much do you have to raise by December 31st? Oh, another $75,000? Another $75,000. So if you've already given, if you can dig deep and do it again, and if you, you're maxed out, if you can find 10 more people to give what you gave, that will make the difference in, in getting Wendy elected this March. March. We have two months in 2020 to campaign, and then time's up. So, Wendy, thank you. Kay. I believe so much in you. you. Kay. I love you. Okay. Please take photographs. That's how we spread the word. That's one more way we spread the word. And I just want to thank everyone who brought your kids tonight. Like really, truly, we're running for. I'm running for my kids, for my grandkids, for my great grandkids. It's like literally why we're here. My nieces, my precious, most adorable nieces, um, and their children. Um, but I think uh, having kids around, it's just, for me, it's why, it's why I'm here. So please welcome our children, and um, take your photos. And